Do you guys believe in the Second Amendment? Yeah, sure. Check this out, though. If somebody is opening your door and they're nonviolent, that and is, they know they're not that supposed is to leave your house. Dumb I'm comparison. Just, oh, no, I'm just asking, because I'm a Second Amendment guy. I'm from Nebraska. I got rifles. I got a Glock. Mm -hmm. I like my self-defense. Somebody's walking through my house, and they know they're not supposed to be there. What is that person So why didn't any happen? of the other officers use deadly force inside the Capitol except Michael Because Perth. it was not a last one. resort. One shot. It was shot a last resort to what? Woman. So an evacuated, an evacuated Senate people. chamber? It wasn't evacuated. But you missed You're You're scared of a 115-pound woman that's going through a window. Michael she, was. It wasn't the 115 pound woman, it was 115 people behind that woman that they were the probably. Yeah, what's up, man? She taller than Destiny. I, I, can't, I don't know. I Absolutely. It. No. Gotta find out in person. So what do, you, what do you mean by the like the January 6th stuff? So we were both here on January 6th. We had a film crew. He was inside. He was actually next, next to Ashley when she got shot. Next Are you to serious? Her. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I was, I was, with, I was with Ashley Babbitt when she was shot. This guy was with Ashley and, Babbitt uh, when she was shot. Yeah. Oh my God. This guy's, this is Destiny. Destiny, yeah. I thought so. Yeah, I was like, wearing a MAGA hat? Well, she stuff. has me doing crazy shit, so. Fair enough. That's cool. Taylor Hanson, joined... pleasure to finally meet Thank you, Thank you so well. Good to meet hey. you. How's it going? So what are you, what are you guys doing out here today? Uh, you know, we're uh, we're actually meeting with some people about January 6th and we yeah, wanted to cover weird. a little bit of the convoy and talk to some people. Is the convoy coming in today? Yeah, tomorrow I think's the big day. Tomorrow, so you're here the just second, in the third. Yeah, there's yeah. there's a bunch of them, but I think the big one's going to get here on the second is what I remember. So, saying, right? the January 6th part, we came back again on January 6th this year with Ashley's mom so she could be at the Capitol, you know, where her, yeah. her, what her daughter was killed. Oh. But uh, we put the documentary out back in June called Riding History, R-I-G-H-T-I-G. And it has Taylor's footage in it with the Ashley, you know, the whole thing, all the deaths. So there's more than just one and more than just two. And we put a five death article on stophate.com that has yeah, most recent the description one. of all five deaths, witnesses, testimony, video, mm -hmm. the whole nine yards shows that all five deaths are the responsibility of the Capitol and Metro Police. Okay, so I really want to ask you about that. I just need to check the time because what what time is it, Stephen? Do you have your other? It phone is three forty nine. We should probably leave it about forty minutes. Yeah, we should. Um, you were there when. Do I have Ashley... my other phone on me? You think this phone doesn't have a watch? Oh, I don't... Mine doesn't show me my time. <laughs> um, you were there when Ashley Babbitt was shot. What was yeah. like the mood there? What? Because a lot of people, I mean, probably even Stephen himself would no, no, say, no. Um, you know, there he was scared for his life. The guard that shot her he was yeah, no. you know there were people crawling through the windows he didn't know on the other side yeah. what was it like nothing of what everyone has been told i mean being there is you know me and ashley were the first one to actually get to the you know those doors and there was three officers there and i released a video recently where you know me and ashley go up and officer yetter is his name on the left and he's covered in capsin powder and you know i laugh with him so you got away worse than me you know let me offer you a bottle of water and then ashley talks to him but i mean this just started to fill in behind us the next thing you know, I mean, you had like a hundred people packed in that one tiny room. And that's when John Sullivan was, you know, right behind me to the left. I was in the left corner. Ashley was in the right. And Zachary Alam was the one breaking all the windows. So I'm focused on Zachary Alam, you know, shattering these windows and John Sullivan behind me telling these cops to leave. They're going to get hurt. He doesn't want that. We'll clear a path. So and then, I mean, the, the, uh, right when the cops cleared out, that's kind of when it hit the fan is, you know, Ashley was screaming at him, you know, yelling, call fucking help get back up you know no stop yelling at zachary alam to stop breaking the windows but not a lot of so people it wasn't know that. ashley that broke the window no ashley was never violent not a single time didn't lay her hands on anybody except zachary alam she punched zachary alam in the face right as he broke that window that she went through so seven so seconds why, prior why did she go through the window seven seconds prior the cops shifted over and then the cert team came up the stairs and they were just standing there bsing with each other not doing anything you can see and, the video standing yeah and there. zachary it goes through to the very right window and he shatters it all the way through and he's about to go through and ashley actually reaches over and grabs his backpack and punches him in the face and his glasses drop down and then as he's recovering she goes through the window and i mean she was an air force veteran of 14 years a military police officer she's sitting there yelling at these cops being frustrated with them because they're not stopping these people and you know, and so why, I would ask her. I would ask her, but I mean, Michael Bird, you know, put a bullet in her without yeah. a verbal warning. I was the closest to Michael Bird. There was no verbal warning. All 13 officers and everyone in that room, no one heard a verbal warning. Even the cops on the other side of, with Michael Bird. And I mean, he was hiding there. The only people that saw him 
or me and John Sullivan, but with how loud it was in there, no one could hear us saying, hey, he's got a gun. You know, there's a gun here. But from what I interpret it, and I've grown really close to the family, Ashley was extremely claustrophobic, number one. And two, I mean, she's, she thinks tactically, she understands the use of force continuum. And in that position, when the cops aren't doing their job, I can imagine she probably wanted to go through that window, hence punching the only agitator that was in there, Zachary Alam, to really kind of safeguard the windows from the other side or to get more help. Okay, and I gotta ask a question, okay? Because yeah. I've got two parents that are in Air Force. I spent a lot of time on mm -hmm. base growing up, talking about understanding use of force continuum. Mm -hmm. What I've been told, and I could be totally wrong, I admit this, but I was a military kid, kind of. What I've been told is that if you fuck around on certain bases, you will get shot and killed without anybody saying a thing to you. Wouldn't her being a military police or having Air Force experience kind of let her know that, like, hey, if I'm breaking into a building where there are other lawmakers and there are cops, and like, shouldn't you kind of expect that, like, she at some point, somebody... anywhere though, that's the reality. But, well, but they were let in. Clear, right? They were let in, and she was actively she, you trying to. De -escal in, right? She didn't break anything. But she was crawling through a broken window. She broke through a broken window after she stopped the guy that broke the window. And there was no there was no verbal warning. So how are you gonna but there's not gonna be a verbal warning? Wait, there has to be a verbal warning. Zero two six? How is there no verbal warning? How is there no warning at all when you have officers standing this close to her, not warning her, acting like everything is okay, not scared, they're all sitting here relaxed, you know, like it's another day in paradise. It might be, there, well, it might be the fact that there's like a thousand people in the building and it's not like the cops can go hand-to-hand -hand combat with everybody, right? Like, they didn't need to. Well, there's no there way for them no to control the crowd. To well, you, well, they and, can't, and they can't the do it. The fact that right? Michael Bird didn't announce himself, and I come from a family of law enforcement, he went from sub zero all the way to six immediately in the use of force continuum. If you're there a family was no of law verbal enforcement, warning, you think they would tell you that if you're nothing. crawling through a window that's being broken into in a large scale riot with our police officers on the other side, your family of law enforcement say, well, as long as the cop doesn't say he's going to shoot you, there's no chance that he's going to shoot you? My family and almost every single officer I've talked to, including ex Capitol Police, have all said the same thing. There was no use for that excessive force that day. So how far should they have gotten into the building? Should they have just let them go all the way through that? Well, I mean, the reality of it is, is they let them in that day. They didn't let them in, though. There is footage. There is footage there is of it. There is absolutely not footage of that. Dude, you're, you're talking to somebody who literally studies this for a living, and, and you're, you, you're you telling me there's yourself, no footage? Right? I was next to Ashley Babbitt when she was shot and killed. If they were let in, why would they break in anything? You so you had this, this building, west side? This is where the police riot took place. That, and that's what it was, it was a police riot. And yeah, you had bad actors, you had agitators, you had people that were fighting the police, but what they don't mention is the fact that the police quite literally started all of this. I mean, I'm partially deaf still. How did the police start the riot? Throwing concussion grades deep into the crowd. So it was a peaceful protest. Nobody was violating barrier, the boundaries. The only thing that and happened then out of the nowhere, people pushed. threw in. The, okay, that so, was the most violent thing sure, that so happened. Barriers, barriers were pushed breaking in. with that's four means, cops, right? three female officers, all rookies, one male officer, another rookie, regarding, you're basically responsible for hundreds of thousands of people on one barrier. How does that make any sense? Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, and then after that, after one barrier was pushed. Was broken into. And so it they was. Were, when they were breaking and entering, right? That is what they were doing. And you then they're ahead. sitting here. This is uh -huh. where, this is the peace monument. This is where me and Savannah Hernandez stood, right? As this first initial barrier went down. Uh -huh. And then everyone kind of gathered around right here on what we call the pavilion. Okay. And then out of nowhere, people are standing there talking with the cops, shaking hands with the police after they've reestablished a line. Break, you can be friendly with cops and other people can be breaking Okay, the do you understand what essentially an unlawful assembly is? That's and that you have to announce an unlawful assembly before throwing concussion grenades and also those concussion grenades that they threw they weren't eligible to use those. They were weren't they, authorized were to use those. Are charges going through day. right now against police officers that were using uh, force that they shouldn't have been then? There's charges against no one going through because they covered it completely up. How You're dealing with a private video Gestapo. Footage of everything. How, how is it covered up? Here, I'll tell you what. We put a five death article out on stophate.com and Taylor's uh -huh. Substack, uh -huh. and it goes through descriptions with witnesses and videos. Look, the whole well, we crowd. Have videos of the whole thing. Oh, absolutely, like absolutely. Force, but but I'll give you, I give you a, a one minute so, walkthrough of how it went, and it'll be real easy. Well, I mean, I, I, we, we the, watched the, everything. Like, we don't, I don't yeah. need another walkthrough. So I mean, the, like, people the, were breaking into the Capitol building. They yeah, weren't oh, supposed yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. After they were allowed through on the opposite side, they, some things were open to like, move the crowd. But that's they because, were as you said before, into the Capitol, they were opened the doors and allowed them in. Uh, yeah, when they were trying to break in already, right? We've seen footage of them. So you let them in after they, if they're trying to break in, which it wasn't happening on this east side. Uh -huh. Do you agree that it's there okay were, to just let them in? There's enough police. There were not enough. Police oh, officers absolutely. Stop them. There was. So there was then not the goal police. at that point is you so said wait, you have law enforcement and after, families. You know, wait, ten thousand national guard were turned down. You said you have. You said you have law enforcement family, right? Mm -hmm. So the goal at that point is to control the crowd. So letting them walk through so certain parts you, of the building so that they're not breaking other parts. You've already admitted there were not enough police there to control the crowd. So who controlled the crowd? The crowd controlled the crowd. Okay, you then. You've just eliminated your argument. Here's the thing. 
the first gate that nobody talks about, the cops were standing in front of, uh -huh. they moved back to the second gate. That's where the most nonviolent push in history was, where the lady fell and hit her head because she didn't have a helmet or a shield or a stick. The lady fell backwards because she wasn't aware of it. I'm, no, I'm just asking because I'm a Second Amendment <laughs> guy. I'm from Nebraska. I got rifles. I got a Glock. Mm -hmm. I like my self-defense. Somebody's walking through my house and they know they're not supposed to be there. What does that person So why think didn't is any happen? of the other officers use deadly force inside the Capitol except no, Michael Because Burr. it was no, the last one. resort. One it shot. It was the last resort to what? A woman. The, an evacuated, an evacuated Senate people. chamber? It wasn't evacuated. But you missed it. Was you're you're scared of a 115-pound woman that's going through a window? Michael she, was. It wasn't the 115-pound woman. It was 115 people behind that woman that they were the probably afraid of. The 115-pound woman, they weren't moving forward. They were At standing all. there. Why was the she cert team? There was police. Why was the cert team so calm? Why were they so calm? Why were the police that shifted over so calm? Why did they not care to control? the what? crowd because why do they not some police probably had different jobs because what do you think that you say they're calm what so, were they supposed to so start michael bird's job was to shoot someone that day if michael they had Jared different Bird's jobs? job was probably to control that hallway and if anybody came did through, he control that hallway yeah, yeah. yeah. he did by, by killing his, an unarmed nobody else his came through, job right? was i mean that's what happens when you shoot somebody his, yeah that's why police officers carry guns yeah but his job was police officers to carry i don't i don't carry the right i don't back that to shoot an unarmed woman who served the country for 14 years so people that are in the military that should and then and then the internal investigation wait no no Any this is your thing you just cut world. people off i'm not cutting people off the, in, the internal <laughs> investigation with michael bird how are you going to justify that he refused to cooperate <laughs> didn't answer a single question was and was just completely clear how, how does that work okay. with police accountability so you, you he was internally cleared after defend, not being investigated decide, he refused to cooperate <laughs> with investigators <laughs> And that's it. And same with Lila Morris. The video of Lila Morris beating an unconscious Roseanne Boylan to Did death. Did you guys see a streaming? Or completely clear. Which one was Roseanne Boylan? Was that the one that died from the meth overdose? Did you hear that? No, what the that? one that died from the meth overdose is what Oh my gosh, the yeah. coroner report. You are so, yeah, so oh, undereducated and behind the corner, on Wait, was the coroner lying there? Or? Yes. Oh, he, he oh lying on multiple Lord. Wait, 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 wait. The coroner made it up. Let me ask you a question. What's the manner of death? What's the difference between manner of death and cause of death? Uh, if I would have died wait, wait, that wait, wait, day, wait. I would have had more amphetamines in my system than Roseanne Boylan. It's I would have been ruled as an acute amphetamine but, but here's the thing. Let me, just let me, like her. What, is manner of death and cause of death both important in an autopsy report? Uh, I, it depends. Cause of death, my guess is going to be there's listing multiple comorbidities or reasons why a person actually died. Cause of so, death might be like so, drugs or so something. So if like I tell your family you just died of a heart attack, but it was a hand grenade that caused that heart attack. That's okay if they don't mention the hand grenade. No, but for cause of death, if it was caused by like blunt force trauma, that so, would be listed on the death certificate. So but it wasn't. The, but and there's so, video evidence of it. Listen, so why are they not listing it? There's not video evidence. There's video evidence of somebody disappearing into a crowd. <laughs> there's video mean? evidence of him, Officer Lila Morris literally beating her overhead as she's unconscious with a stick. A okay, stick you should, we should find that video. It's on yeah. our website. It's on our website. It's literally in the article. It's all over the place. Writing if history. If you want to know the truth, it, you just have to look for it. It's in the article, the five-death article. It's the ugly truth about the five murders mm -hmm. on January 6th and 7th. See, Sicknick got on the 7th. Uh, what's your explanation for the cop that killed himself afterwards? You mean the four? The what? Did you know the that? The four cops? The four cops? I know there's four, one. but there is one that I no, think No, there's people four suicides from cops, they say. Sure, but the one that is most likely attributed to um, the concussion that he received here, the way that he acted strange afterwards, Who? and then when he... He's talking, talking about? about the one that shot him in the self, uh, shot himself in the head on a freeway in his cherished Mustang. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, oh, that's, that's, that's fake, that's, too. That's, okay. that's really we didn't say it was fake. Okay. All right, all right. When you did, did we say that was fake? You, you literally were just asking. very real to you either, huh? We just explained <laughs> the situation and when he shot himself. Yeah, yeah. good job. We haven't but, hey, investigated listen, that thoroughly. What I was getting at is after the second gate, the most nonviolent push in the world, and they got up to the front, you can hear them on video and see them all standing, not engaging the police, not fighting, saying, this is where we make our stand. We're not BLM or Antifa. Mm -hmm. Please don't tear gas us. Please don't shoot us. And the cops standing behind the front row of cops throw the grenades into the crowd, killing Kevin Greeson and Benjamin Phillips. That's where the chaos started. That's where the attitude, you can see it from overhead video, from crowd video. It's all in our death story. If you'll take the time to go read it, it's a little long. You know, I have to break it into pieces because it goes over all five deaths and the Capitol Metro Police are responsible I mean, for each one of them. how would you explain too that they, uh, officers that were responsible for helping Officer Sicknick didn't get him help on two separate occasions. We have multiple eyewitnesses that tried to help Officer Sicknick. The first one being around 2 p.m., 2.30 p.m., I'm stumbling out of the Capitol and Trump supporters saying, hey, this officer needs help. And our, our inter I mean, we interviewed this witness, Rod Taylor. He goes up Sorry, to him guys, we'll from me to you. I'll go back. Puts his hand I'm on just trying to check the time. Okay. I have to leave to go on TimCast soon. Now brings him to four cops and says, you know, he looks like he's just had a stroke. Get him help. And then at 7.30 p.m., another one of our witnesses sees him as a combat, combat medic and has more training than any of these police combined. And he says, he's had a stroke. He's going to die if you guys do not get him help. Please let me help him. And they said, no, mind your, mind own, your business. own business.
two and hours then at 10 later, p.m. He, he collapses in the rotunda, and they say he had his head. And they blamed us for his murder when we're the only ones that asked to get him help. I have to ask: Did you guys get? charged or no. anything the fbi has been to my I'm house i lawyered so. up they had my my employee is still on house arrest our friends are still in prison in the gulag no bail no bond still on for misdemeanor charges. stuff but you can shoot someone in dallas and get out the next day uh, yeah get a little bond a little bail whatever not for these guys it's the same thing same thing a year so later for you you were able to say i'm a i'm a journalist so they didn't do that yeah i've been covering protests and riots okay. and civil unrest for over a year and a half prior to this i mean that's why i was in dc because usually after trump speaks you have the antifa black lives matter groups come out and they attack people so that's what i was there to cover was the conflict and the next thing i knew i came walking right down here right on the peace monument see the thing is everybody's been lied to even the marshals when they go and arrest these people they say why are you being like this to me and my family why are you doing this in my neighborhood i said i would come in monday why are you here kicking my door down friday they said because your guys killed one of our guys see they're even telling the marshals that sick nick was killed by trump supporters when he was actually killed by his own officer's negligence in getting him treatment, then they laid him in the Capitol for three days. They said he's a martyr. They buried him at Arlington National Cemetery as a hero to hide their murder. They forced him to suffer and die for all those hours before he collapsed that day. We asked them to get him help. Two witnesses beat that video. We've got everything on each one of these people. Yes, so you're talking about Sicknick? Mm -hmm. I thought he Sicknick. died of a stroke the next yep. day. Well, they, yeah, no, and he died in the hospital the next day on a event They wanted him to die. He, he was, was res he was resuscitated in the Capitol at 10 p.m. after they so didn't guys, get him help for hours. No, listen. Yeah. At, we at, have two eyewitnesses at, that let, have let talked. Let me tell you. At we're three, trying to save him in here, and they didn't. No, no, no. They, they, they listen, died. listen. He came out of the crowd. Rod Taylor found him, put arms on both shoulders, looked him in the eyes, said something's wrong with this guy, and took him to the police and said, "Please, I think he's had a stroke." The cops said, "We got him." He went on about his business. Four hours later, our other witness, the medic. Here's his name, Sickness. And one of the guys said, Sickness, you okay? Because he's sitting there all there trying to feed him water. It's running down his face. And he's like, I know that name. We're military. He's from my town. I know his family. Let me treat him. Uncuff me. Let me treat him. No. Just move my cups to the front. You know, I, I need to. We got medics. We got. Well, I'll, I'll treat, treat him. A stroke. What were they going to treat him? What do you, you treat a stroke with, do you, do you dude? Oh, come on, is? man. Get with the like, program. I'm just, I'm just oh, you just want to watch him suffer and die? Is that your mindset? So, to, to put it oh, but nobody to put wants to get perspective. Him Every minute that that Jeez, stroke man. didn't go untreated, you're losing about a million brain cells. No, no, no you're just being cold. Stroke. You're going to take him to a damn hospital. You give him and medicine. Strokes are strokes are treatable now. The People guy was usually carrying, like blood thinner, whatever he needed to. Dude, you think paramedics and ambulances and hospitals aren't prepared for strokes? Dude, they're treatable now. I don't know what the guy was trying to say. I'm just telling you. The combat hours medic earlier, has better medical they training had a better than any chance. of the officers that were there that were trying to help him. He just wanted to help him. That's yeah, literally it. That's and then they didn't take him to the hospital. Okay, so That's where's like the explanation of him not being taken the dress, to the hospital? You know I mean? Okay, it's been fun. She has a. a I do. I'm. Stophate.com. Go check okay. it out for real. Should, man. I do appreciate you guys, even though no. we super disagree. Hey, we need to talk about it though, dude. If you don't know, you don't know. It's a pleasure to meet you. Yeah. There's a difference. So it's just the truth, brother. We're not out here trying to make propaganda. We're just trying to set the people, the innocent people that didn't do anything free, the people that were down there that said, hey. Trump just said we're going to go down here peacefully protest, so let's go down there. Those people are charged for some conspiracy. They learned about it down there and walked down here, and now they're in jail. That's not right, man. You know it. All right. Okay. Thank you. Have all. a good one, guys. Have a good one, guys. Cheers. Pleasure to meet you guys. All right, we got a little bit of a little bit of IRL debate in there for you. Just appreciate the total spectrum. So when I talk to you, why are you pushing off the? When I talked to you, I was like, I think five people died because of the protest, and then you talk me down to one. Which was Ashley Babbitt. And I was then correct, I did some you more research. Then I did some more research, and I'm up to it too. Because I think the officer that got the concussion, based on what his wife was saying and everybody afterwards, it could be lies, they made it sound like he was like really mentally fucked up. So I'll give him two. But now these guys are back to five, but now they're saying that the cops killed everybody. Hmm, what do you cite on this now, Lauren? <laughs> what a world we live in, huh? Listen. Do you see the horseshoe? Listen. So they agree with you. They agree with Destiny five months ago. <laughs> okay, well. Um, no, but, like, for me, 
the capital stuff. Uh -huh. I feel like it's like people that comment on that are commenting on Ukraine and Russia right now. There's so many different sources of information on it, so many different yeah, videos. The problem that I hear is that listen, I grew up a good conservative boy, okay? And I know that those motherfuckers heard the same shit that I heard growing up. You don't fuck with cops, you don't break into areas you're not supposed to be in. You don't do that shit when you know and if a cop does some shit to you, that's your ass. Because you did it and it's your fault. That's what I know they heard that growing up a million times, because I heard that growing up a million times. I would never, ever, ever in my life, if I got busted by a cop, if I got shot by a cop, doing some crazy shit or whatever, if I would say to, say to my mom and dad, like, oh, well, mom, they didn't give me a verbal warning first. Like, my parents okay, are conservative you, as fuck. There's no way they'd be like, oh, well, yeah, the cop didn't like, warn okay. you, blah, 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 right? Listen, no, I, I agree with you. Like, I'm so, I would not fuck around when there's cops there. I wouldn't myself, and I wouldn't advise people do that. However, but, do you <laughs> think that after watching a summer of BLM breaking into buildings, burning stuff down. Perhaps people had a different view of how the police react yeah, to protests. There was like 15,000 arrests for the BLM shit. And there not, are people, like, but were there people shot for breaking windows? I don't, I don't know, were there? No, were not there from what I can remember. I mean, if you find- buildings, were there were cops on I, There the were people end? that took over police precincts. Yeah, but like, if there are people on the other end, if you can find me a comparable BLM situation. But then again, all I would say is, well, they probably should have been then. But they I, shouldn't have been there, but, but they you, didn't get shot. So what I'm that. saying is the American people had been given kind no, of an bullshit. image of how no, their police it's react. Hackery. Remember what I said before? Nobody has any principles. Hackery. Nobody believe any. How could you imagine a certain like, well, two wrongs make a right. BLM I'm not saying, did it, so I'm, I'm gonna not do it. saying excuse, I'm not though. saying two wrongs make a right. I'm saying if people watch the government react to and enact policy in a certain way, i.e not shooting people when they break and destroy buildings for an entire summer, they're going to assume that is the general reaction of you police. You think a Ashley Babbitt, who was military police, I don't know what it's like in Canada, but in the United States, everybody hates military police. People in the military hate the MPs because these are like the most hard-ass motherfuckers in the world. I don't know how the fuck you could be an MP. Wait, and then oh, wait, wait, are we walking in the right direction? Walk into the fucking Capitol building. Okay, no. We need to, I think we're down that way actually, and then left there. I'm right. No, you're not right. You can't just say I'm right. And then, okay, that white woman shit doesn't work. I was talking about the directions, but I am right in that regard too. We have to walk in like that direction for a long time, okay? Destiny is I feel not like conservative. I, heard so many I don't think anyone said he was. We would go to the base exchange, the BX, the commissary. She would say shit like, Stevie, did you know that when you're on base, if you walk in the wrong spot, there's like an MP with his rifle trained on you at all times. Yeah, fucking and they're just going to shoot you. They're going to blow your head off if you walk in the wrong spot. Or if you drive in through a base, if you drive in through a base and you fly past the fucking checkpoint, they will just blow that, the they shit They do that in like people. Afghanistan and stuff. What? They do that in like you know, overseas bases. I don't think they fuck around on U.S. bases, man. Or in, maybe in my U.S. bases lie to me. overseas. In no, in places. U.S. bases in the United States. Oh, like you if you're, just... yeah, if you're not a, um, yeah. But Let's maybe, put, yeah. Maybe okay, fair enough. Exaggerated. That's possible. Okay. Well, no, maybe. like I, I've heard that too, like from people that vet friends of mine that, like, you know, someone doesn't come in scheduled and drives in, you you can just shoot them. Yeah, there's like crazy overseas. shit. They've got like tons of barricades and shit now, so that people can't just drive in. Well, it's because people drive car bombs and shit into the bases. Oh, yeah? Maybe Ashley Babbitt had a bomb. Maybe that's why they had a shooter. Oh, here they are. Here Can they are Can you believe that guy? Well, she just, she wanted to go through first to warn the cops. Lauren, are you fucking serious? How can you hold it straight? I, she wanted to go in and warn the cops on the other end. Are you actually fucking serious right now? I asked him <laughs> twice why she went in. He said he couldn't find out because she's uh -huh. that obviously. That, it, that does seem like, why would you crawl through the window? For sure. I, I don't think pushed. that was a... Was close that, I don't think that... I'm going to have to go back and watch the video. I don't uh, think that um, it was, was a wise decision by any any stretch. Yeah. Do I think she should have got shot? No. No. I think they should just let him keep going and going and going. No, I mean, I think that she probably would have stopped if you got a warning. Do you? How many warnings did you fucking need? Oh, I'll, did, was there one? <laughs> they're, they're claiming... The they're, they're claiming there wasn't a single warning. My mind is falling into a million pieces. I just don't know what to say. We had yeah, okay. Uh, if he said, I am going no, no, no. to shoot you if you crawl thing. through here's this thing. window, do you I think? I think that different conservatives in this country, they didn't have a conservative upbringing. I could never imagine saying something so fucking stupid. There's no shot. There's, you're breaking into a okay, government is this, building. Is this Bernie Sanders again? It might be, okay. It we saw be. like we literally just saw some old white guy and no, I did Steven not was like, earlier. it's fake Bernie news. Sanders. More it's fake Bernie. news. Is that gonna be your next documentary? Okay. Yeah. I've got it it's in 4K. 4K, 4K. Can we go? 
Okay, just wait. I do like that. Um, everything you said to the immigration protesters, they're like, oh yeah, that's fair. <laughs> well, because they're good arguments. I mean, I know all the arguments. Come on, dude, I'm not a dumbass. Jeez. They're good arguments. Even they just folded right away. Well, they're but like, they didn't man, know the damn, this, this mega you're guy supposed, is great. Like, they were on the right track. He should have pushed a little bit harder, and I could have been like, oh, you're right. Well, you and just... they could have won the debate, and then he would have converted me. Yeah, people are saying review the article. You should do a review of the article. No, gee, no, because the hardcore conspiracy there is going to be like, there was one video that didn't get published that day. And you look at this video, you can tell from the seven pixels here. Well, that can, there was can't you watch that? Can't you watch it and yeah, show how ridiculous it is? Or are maybe, you just going to, are you going to cover it up like the rest of the establishment, like the establishment? Destiny? Establish my fucking foot in your ass. You're so, you're such a partisan fuck. You're so crude god. and god. awful. Oh my god. Fuck. Um... Ukraine and Russia, that's what we're covering right now, okay? Is it? Yeah. That's the important thing. Okay, I don't need to watch grain, grainy, pixelated footage. I don't know how you would know anything about Ukraine and Russia when you've been playing League of Legends for th four months straight. Yeah, well, you don't think that the... You don't think that the Ukrainian people fighting against an overwhelming enemy is at all relatable to the bot lane struggle of an AD carry trying to make it into Diamond 4? You don't think there's a little bit of empathy there that we can have for each other? True. You're just like the ghost of Kiev. No, I wish I was the ghost of Kiev. The ghost of Kiev is in my game. Just the like enemy the ghost of Kiev, time, your diamond okay? status doesn't exist. Yeah. Fuck you. I said don't honk. You're not allowed to bring up League, okay? Look, there's so many journalists. There's so many journalists. There's so many politicians. It's just the worst. There's so many journalists. Did you ever have. Everyone uh, thinks they're so important in this city. Unlike us streamers who are the real important people. True. Did you ever have like a live journal or a Zanga or any of that shit? Um, the live journal. No, I had like a Tumblr way back in the day. Oh, kind of, okay. My guy online on account. Did you just like reblog shit on it? Um, I posted sometimes. Oh, okay, that's good. Yeah, you still I was have in, it? I was in like high school. I hope to God no one finds it. Oh shit. I think I've deleted it. I think we're safe. What else, Lauren? Did you get everything you wanted out of the White House visit that you had today? I learned a lot. Oh, that's good. I'm glad. I learned a lot about the geography of Washington, D.C. All the different buildings we have. Yeah. Because your parliament You know what? Your if you're going to call something the White House and then have multiple white buildings in a city, I feel like that's a bit unfair. Well, listen, didn't you guys come down and burn it down like 211 years ago? True. That, so you should know what it looks like, right? Disgusting. No, we burnt it down. The new one's a fake. It's actually a hologram. Oh shit, it might be. No wonder Trump couldn't get anything done. He kept trying to go in the fake building. He didn't know where the government was actually ran from. <sighs> I think you should have a debate with this guy. Yeah? Do I have to be a MAGA person still? Yeah. Oh, it's the Canadian Embassy. I'm safe at last. Oh, wow, so safe. Finally. This man kidnapped me. With you again. Oh, Australian ID. Can I, ask, can I ask a question about your hat real quick? Yeah, what's up, man? Um, sorry, I'm a little out of breath. Yeah, I'm a live streamer now, so if you don't want to. Oh, sure. Oh, okay, yeah. Is that I okay? That a prerequisite for buying the hat was uh, to be Diamond 4 in Legal Legends. Okay, you're such a fucking loser. <laughs> you're actually disgusting, okay? May I? Oh, God. <laughs> yes! Shut up. You're so stupid. Amazing. Why are there fans out here? Oh, can I be like Bosch? Oh, look at your, look at your disgusting bureaucrat, bureaucrat fans. God. Destiny is directly influencing the U.S. government. It's like that iceberg. And it like starts with like, you know, all the politicians and media and then down, down deep, the iceberg. Deep, deep lore, yeah. You told me if we went over here, we'd see Bernie Sanders, okay? I, I feel we, a little We already left. found Bernie Sanders. Yeah. We I'm found him earlier. Here, but... Chat. Ooh, Metalcur is streaming in three hours. Metalcur? Metalcur. Oh, Metalcur. Yeah, I'm on first name basis with him, so I don't know. You know Jimbo, good old yeah. Jimbo. Have you? Do you know what he oh, looks we like? Should... No, I've never met him in person. Apparently, you know, isn't Ralph in like some doxing drama with him right now? Oh yeah, Ralph said that he was going to drive to his house. Yeah, so apparently there are a few people that know what he looks like. Yeah. Damn, did Ralph end up going through with that, or...? You know? 
<laughs> my, my chatter asking if you're going to give me makeup tips for my show since you were commenting on my appearance. Oh, dude. You know, I know what should, so I, what should I do with my hair, Steven? Contour. I used to listen to so many ASMR makeup things. I could walk you through so much makeup stuff. She told her the destiny. I, I, can't, I don't know. There's Absolutely. No. Okay. Half off coat product. Who's taller? We've got to find out in person. Oh, Before I go, what should I bring up on Timcast tonight? God, do the Hassan versus I'm not doing God, the Hassan versus Trump Wait, land slide. You'll get you. You'll get 100 that people are like, what a pog move. That's poggers. I feel like predicting a, uh, you know what, I want to say I feel like predicting a war wrong is worse, but I, I also predicted it wrong, so. 49. <laughs> okay, don't talk about that. real bad reason. Oh, we're not going to talk about that. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Regardless, why are you fucking run? Can you slow down? I'm sorry my legs are so long. They're not long. They're Do not you even know? I mean, you just want to get like three steps ahead and then you walk the This is how way. I walk normally. I literally swear, like my hips are up to your belly button. Like, it's just yeah, my leg right. length. Uh -huh. I've never done live streaming while walking around other than like at protests so I'm a bit concerned about someone murdering me here okay. I'm like five six five seven five seven on a good day yeah five six on a bad day she's actually looking at the test results for her IQ it was like 56 57 <laughs> not even mad yeah people with low IQs are way happier are they Everyone with high IQ it should be envious of Oh them. my god, true. Sometimes I'm just so smart. I'm like, I can see how miserable the world is. And I'm like, my intelligence is a curse. Do you ever watch House? Yeah, it sounds like it sucks. I love being dumb. Yeah, true. Have you seen the show House? No. Uh, no. Oh, fuck. Never mind. You wouldn't get the reference. How have you not watched a single episode? Sorry, my IQ is 56. I don't even know what a house is. <laughs> okay, true. Not a white one, apparently. Um, have you... Did you watch Game of Thrones? Uh, yeah, of course. All of it? How did you feel about it? I liked it. All, all of it? All of it. Every single last... Oh, no, well, no. <laughs> oh my no, god. No, no, no. Wait, this no. actually might be your worst take yet. The the last bit wasn't wasn't uh -huh. so good. The internet told me to say that. They told me I'm not allowed to like the last season. So she actually liked all of Game of Thrones. We found... You know what I just watched that was great? Make these episodes you know what was great? Witcher. The Witcher did I wasn't like expecting that? it to be good because most oh, like video game remakes are terrible, but... Yeah. Henry Cavill seems pretty cool. Yeah, it's great. You're not upset that they made... Did they make Siri black in that? No. Oh. She was, like, super white. Oh. She's, like, whiter than white. Okay. They... You know what? <laughs> Actually, no, I'm not gonna... <laughs> no, say it! What? Why does They well? made... They made a black character, a villain, in that show. Which character? And I feel like if you're willing to do that as a writer, mm -hmm. like, you're actually just casting people because they'll be good in a role and you're not trying to, like, make it some woke thing. So it's, like, if you're willing to cast any character as any race uh -huh. oh then it's to me it's, it's more it's no it, to me it's just like you're more focused on the writing than you are like the woke storyline and it fitting into a certain political narrative gotcha okay so i just thought that was interesting that they were willing to do that did you watch deadly class no what's that it's about this um kid who goes to a school for like gangsters or, okay, do they teach that at school now? It's like, you know, if you're part of the the cartel, as a kid, you go there. If you're part of, like, oh, like I don't know, Yakuza, you go there. And it's like this cute, you all have all these, like, attractive Gen Z kids all fighting each other, trying to kill each other. Okay. And they've got, like, Soviet kids and white nationalists in it. And the whole plot starts with this kid that is an immigrant, so he wants to assassinate Ronald Reagan. Jesus. It's actually not a bad show. It's all filmed in Vancouver. You probably watch this and you're like, this is what they're learning when they teach critical race theory in kindergarten. Now, Absolutely. Huh? <laughs> what show? Well, Which I want to know what it's called. It's called Deadly Class. Okay. They, so, like, the, the idea is everyone in it is a horrible person, except the main character who's like this Nicaraguan migrant. Uh -huh. Him being a horrible person and killing people is okay because so he's woke, left wing right? and woke. Yeah. So he has reasons. He's like, that person called me a beaner so it's okay that I can punch them out. Okay. First of all, I'm Cuban. Okay, so that was offensive to me. It happens in the show. I'm quoting the show, alright? Okay. I can quote American History X for you. Okay, I don't know makes it okay, alright? 
Any for, final thoughts? Where the stream leaves you? Would you like to say hi to Bosch's audience or any other left wing creator that's gonna use yeah. this video as proof that I've become an alt writer? Absolutely. Yeah. All of Destiny's Horcruxes out there, Bosch, Hassan, I'm coming for you. Okay. We're okay. gonna destroy all of the Horcruxes. <laughs> okay, good luck. I'll be cheering for you from the sidelines, depending on the topic of the video, guys. You know what? They are kind of your Horcruxes, though. Because by being having even worse left wing arguments than you, they prop you up. Yeah, is that how that works? <laughs> That's how it works. They oh, keep yeah. you alive. People look at Destiny. They're like, all oh, the... At least he's not as dumb as a song. Exactly. Yeah, cool. Any last messages from my audience? Fuck all of you guys. Most of you guys hate me. I hate most of you. 